Page them down 13 in the middle of that first quarter. What's what the switch for this group and we'll get you guys going in, in the second quarter? I think our defense got a lot better, especially in transition. Um, and honestly, like, they just made some threes on us. And, you know, we just kind of pushed through that that part of the game. And I thought minus the first six minutes, we were really, really good. Um, I don't know what they scored out. I think, I think I had 21 at that point when we called timeout. And then after that, I thought we played pr pretty good defense. So, I'm proud of us. Nobody panicked. Um, we kind of just settled in into the game, but we definitely need to get off to a better start. I'll see this offense almost seems frantic at times watching it from a distance, but you all seem to find the focus when the shots start to go. How does that dynamic work? That, like it's a, just a level 12, but you all yeah. maintain it. Uh, I think it's a, <clears throat> a matter of our chemistry. Um, we've really taken time as teammates to really get to know each other on and off the, on and off the court. And I think it serves to what you see now. And I think <clears throat> even though it might look, a different way to you. We've already established what our chemistry is and how we want to play. And I think um, for us, we got an unbelievable chemistry now to where it's unspoken. And so you get to see it. Even if you don't understand it, trust me, we get it. We, we understand it. <laughs> Caitlin, you seem to be having a very fun time at the end of the mm -hmm. game. Can you describe mm -hmm. kind of your feelings that say great shooting, great mm -hmm. assists, the, the numbers, and, and just the exhilaration, the joy, whatever you were feeling. Yeah. Honestly, like I felt like it was like a, just a smooth game for us. Like I just felt like we were flowing while out there. Like it just felt like pretty basketball. Like and sometimes I think as a basketball player, like you can just feel it. Um, I thought that's what we had. My like I said, minus the first six minutes, I thought we played really well. And you know, this was a big one for us. It almost counts towards two when you're in the playoff race of like a loss and a win. So um, we knew it was a big one, but also like we wanted to win the season series with them. Um, that was kind of a focus point. And the last time we were here, we were up 15 in the fourth quarter and kind of you know, fumbled it away. So I thought it was another opportunity for us to come in here and show what we're about. And I thought we were really good. And um, honestly, like, I just had a lot of fun playing. Like, I thought we played with a lot of joy. We played at up-tempo. We shared the ball well. Um, I thought Temi was really good, especially defensively when she came in, too. And um, that was fun for me to see. Kaylin, you mentioned the playoffs. Um, this moves you guys up to six. How important is that, especially knowing the stretch that you have coming up and you only have three games against? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I think you can't really look at a team's record at this point in the year. I think uh, you're seeing teams play really well. Like, I think I just heard the Wings beat the Lynx the other night. The Sparks beat the Liberty. Like, it doesn't really matter a team's record at this point. Everybody's fighting for something and fighting for a playoff berth, fighting for seeding or positioning. So it doesn't really matter. You better come into every single game um, with the mentality of to win. And I think our group has done a really good job of taking it one game at a time and, um, it's honestly impressive how we started the season and now sitting at sixth place with eight games remaining, nine games remaining, whatever it is. Um, but, you know, you have to continue to execute down the stretch. And lucky for us, we have quite a few of those at home and we've been playing really well at home. So using that to our advantage will be important as well. Yeah, and when you, came, when you guys, like you said, you started the season, do you have faith you would get to this point, you know, maybe after, after you guys play together and you had three? Yeah, I mean... I certainly did. I think I remember saying early in the season, like, I know there's going to be a moment where we look back on this in the season later in the season and be like, you know, this one and eight start is like going to help us somewhere down the line. And I think this is now that moment. Um, did it stink? Absolutely. Like it was not fun. Um, you know, I was, I was frustrated or everybody was frustrated. Um, you know, fans were probably frustrated, but at the same time, like we have a young group, we're trying to learn, we're trying to figure out and, it's a tough transition, you know, coming from college and then trying to come in here and lead a professional basketball team and be their point guard. So um, I'm just really thankful for my teammates that like just stuck with me and, you know, have helped make the transition easy and learning one another. And I think once we've really figured it out, it's been a lot of fun for everybody on this team. Um, Kelsey, this is the first time you guys have been 500 since started two and two in 2022. Just for you, what does it mean to kind of be part of this rebuild and kind of see it these past couple of years? Oh, uh -huh. I think give yourself some grace uh, about, you know, where I started as a as a player and where the FIBA organization was and where it is now. Um, you go to appreciate, you know, um, the evolution of the game, um, the players that came in it, um, people like C-squared. Even, like, you know, this group, that draft class that came out, you know, they've taken really good leaps at making teams better, and I think C-squared has done that for us. And I think now it's about focused on taking it to the next step, and I look forward to that journey. So, yeah. Sorry. To go off that, if the message against Connecticut was that you guys weren't going to be bullied or get pushed around, what was the message tonight? I mean, just to come in here by 20 points the way you did. Uh, obviously, keep the main thing the main thing. 
Uh, we knew that uh, Chicago had a lot of like up and down as far as, you know, their roster and who was playing and who wasn't. And I think for us, it was about keeping the main thing, the main thing is stay focused on that. And this game was about rebounding. Um, you know, we all kind of like said it. And I think we had that focus, uh, especially with players like Angel. And so uh, get, get them off the glass and then run. And so I think that focus kind of maintained throughout the course of the 40 minutes today. It seems in this stretch, any combination of five you all have out there, you get five scores. What's the just the confidence you have in everybody right now? Put them in the hand, the points are going to be there. Yeah, I think it. we're just tough to guard, especially like, you know, especially when we just play in transition. Like, we're just playing pretty basketball, playing fluid basketball. We're playing off one another. We're just reading each other. And that's not something the other team can, like, scout for. Like, you don't know what we're going to do. We don't know what we're going to do. It just happens. It's just basketball. And, like, that's the best way to play basketball. Like, be a basketball player make reads, play off your teammates, set them up for success. Um, and I think we do a really good job of finding each other in positions where we know they can be successful. Um, I'm pretty sure we had a high assist number on high made field goals tonight. And I think that just shows, you know, we're making the next pass to get our teammates a good shot and taking the right shots. And the other night you were talking about how much Kelsey has helped you guys or you guys are better in presence, but mm -hmm. specifically on the court, how do you think she's helped you the most on the floor? Off the floor? On the floor. On the floor? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's pretty similar on and off the floor. Like, she's just been a voice that's been there. She's been through this league for, what, seven years now? Like, she knows what to expect. She knows how things are going to go. Um, and I think more than anything, like, we are just starting to understand each other much better. Like, we can just make eye contact, and she knows to go back door. She knows to come get the ball. Like, that just comes with playing with one another. So, um, it's been a lot of fun for me. I mean, she's she's playing so well right now, just as good as anybody in this in this league. So, I feel very lucky and fortunate to to have her by my side. Confident as this team right now. Coming in hot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Opening the door. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we're confident, but that's like that's any team in this league when you're able to stack some wins. Like that's everything, right? And I think coming out of the break, we start with two big wins at home versus Phoenix and and uh Seattle. And then we go on the road and we drop one. But then we knew Atlanta was a huge game for us, and I thought we played really well there. So um I'm just proud of our group. I think we're really just approaching it day by day, even though like, you know, these games are so important. We're not, we're not really looking that far down the stretch of what's at the end of September, what's in the middle of September. It's what's in front of us today and just approaching it like that. And um, that's how you build your confidence. It's just one day at a time. But I think our confidence is, you know, at an all time high where it's been this all season. Going back to the offense, you guys have had the best offensive rating in the league since mid June. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you guys envisioned like was possible or, I mean, during that losing streak at the beginning of the season, maybe not, but I mean, just like the, to reach that height, to be able to say, you know, you guys are the hottest offense right now. Like, yeah, for sure. I think that, I think that, I think that people feel to realize that basketball is something that takes time. You don't just come in and you get it right off the back. I don't know what people expect. I'm not going to hop in their brain and figure out what they expect, but this stuff takes time. And I think that to see good basketball and see it manifest into what you see now, it's a time, and, you know, you got to give yourself some grace. That's always tell our team, like, give yourself some flaws right now because we could have been a lot worse. And to see where we are now, I think the sky's the limit for us. And I think our offense and what you see and our fierce competitiveness is just kind of in our DNA. And we want it to kind of, like, stay like that, you know. We want to do the right thing the right time all all the time, not just sometimes. But we want to do it right all the time, and that's what you're seeing. That's wrong, man. Yeah, Keelan, um, toward the end of the fourth, you had a rare three-point miss. Uh, it's it's sense me. Is that you pointing up to the scoreboard? I think it was a fan. I was just having fun with the fan. Nothing to do with Camilla. I love Camilla. Camilla's awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just launched one for fun. It was kind of a bomb. It was a good air ball. I had to get a good air ball in there. You guys pray for me. 